Today was an opportunity for us to revisit work that began three years ago with the original Towards the City of Entrepreneurs Forum. And the progress has been amazing. We've now got 25 co-working spaces in Adelaide. We've got a, a bunch of accelerators. We've got a huge range of meetups. The ecosystem has grown to over 130 programs. We were incredibly fortunate to have Brad Feld with us today. Brad is one of the founders of the startup community in Boulder, Colorado, and he's written a book on this stuff. The startup community has to be led by entrepreneurs. I separated the world into feeders and leaders. The leaders were entrepreneurs, the feeders were everybody else. So feeders are university and government and large companies and investors like me. But if you don't have a critical mass of leaders who are entrepreneurs, your startup community won't make any progress. If you are an entrepreneur and you realize that something is missing in your startup community and you're interested in it, you should just go start it. Because again, that's what entrepreneurs do. Entrepreneurs just start stuff. It's crucial from our point of view to be able to support entrepreneurs in a manner in which they want to be supported. It's not really about what I think in terms of how I think they should be supported. This ecosystem is really playing an important part to connect uh, organisations and entrepreneurs and get them working together. None of us want to reinvent the wheel. We all have limited resources. Uh, we want to move forward in supporting the startup ecosystem. Sometimes in Adelaide, because we're a small place, we think we're doing too many activities and too many events, whereas Brad clearly said, do more. Do more activities, more events, because that creates this you know, enormous uh, inspiration in the entrepreneurial community. I want to see the pipeline grow. We can't have startups if we don't continue to introduce people into that pipeline. Our young people in schools, um, teachers, uh, people in the community, seniors who don't know about entrepreneurship and business as a pathway, we need to help them enter that pipeline and also allow them to exit where they need to and support that. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but let's introduce more people. So the, um, the last session was all about bringing together all the different views from different business leaders and, and stakeholders and turning them into actions and turning them into an action plan that we can start to work towards and start putting our energy into creating plans that will create outcomes, which is fantastic because a lot of these sessions do leave you a little unsatisfied because it's just a conversation opportunity rather than an action one. The last session was fantastic. People in the room really care about this. This is one thing that was incredibly obvious. There were people that clearly were frustrated at the prospect of, of walking away from this and not having something happen. So that caused some serious debate that we clearly need to make sure that we move forward from here. We did from the first forum. We need to make sure that we continue to take steps from this forum. I am incredibly optimistic about the future of Adelaide and I truly believe that it's the startup community, it's entrepreneurs that are going to help in transforming our economy to fully take advantage of innovation in the future.